the Ice Archers were already kind of a crazy unit, right? Being a ranged unit that can keep melee units at range is a super powerful ability, but instead of hitting one unit, he... Flash freezes an entire army. Are you kidding me? What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we have a bunch more stuff to do. Like the most recent update brought the first person mode, which was a hilarious time. I gotta screw around with that more because there's so many units to try, but also four new secret units. One of which you can see right now. You might not be able to find it, but you can see it, okay? It's very much a Where's Waldo situation. Except, I don't think Waldo ever decapitated himself and then hit his head inside of a chest, inside of a barrel, on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Maybe I just missed that issue growing up, okay? It wouldn't really surprise me, but we have the Jester. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tab's units have a hard enough time walking. How exactly are you doing backflips? So rather than using up like 10 or 15 minutes of the video looking underneath every bush and up every tree and inside every tower of every map in the game, I figured instead we'll play our own little game. Okay, I'm gonna go to the correct map. Again, I'll make sure that the unit is clearly visible. And if you guys wanna take a look around, you can pause the video now. And if not, I've just realized that I turned into full-blown Dora the Explorer rather than Where's Waldo. Except I don't think either of them impaled peasants on a spike. At the very least, the door executives did a really good job of sweeping that controversy underneath the rug. What the hell are you? This can't be- Oh, it's Vlad the Impaler. I was gonna say, a guy on a spike isn't a great unit. Get the feeling he would just kind of hang out. Extra points to the good Samaritans that noticed that this guy forgot his belt. It turns out not every map is well suited for this game, and I'm not saying that this is easy. If anything, this is harder because there's nothing here. It's just a giant ice bowl, but you can indeed kind of see what it is, sort of, maybe. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go get it now. It's something in here, I think. I I've looked at all of the swords and all of the little temples and stuff in the ice, but this looks like some kind of helmet or hat, bald head, I can't really tell until I get it, right? <laughs> we got Uller. Uller? I think that's the uh, son, step, step brother, step son, some relation to Thor. Tabs, are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, I try to make my video a little bit interactive, you know, something a little bit more fun than just a boring Easter egg hunt to start things off. And then they go and make it so that it's underwater and there's no way for anybody to see that or me to see that. I had to come down here and find this, what is that, an ax and a log? Oh, it's a foot. It's the Taekwondo unit. and. That took me a million years to track down. Since when is anything underwater in this game? They really managed to train you to do backflips and somersaults and stuff like that, but not how to hold a knife in your hand. <laughs> like, here's the thing, the only other unit that's similarly priced to the Jester is the Monk, who is way bigger and beefier and scarier. So I'm kind of curious what the little guy can accomplish. You know, I, I really don't know how this could possibly uh, go. Okay, well, he's taken a, a couple sticks to the face. I don't, I don't think he took any sticks to the face. I think he backflipped the sticks and then took a step forward and kicked this guy in the sticks. <gasps> whoa, 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 he didn't even use the knives. I gotta run this again in slow motion because I feel like I missed something there. It's like I said, the monk is like a foot taller than him. It's really imposing, but he does backflip the attacks. <laughs> he dresses like a fool, but he's secretly the one. And then he counter stabs. Interesting. That's really weird. Like you would think that he wouldn't have the finishing move of a nut kick every time, but that seems to be programmed in. You guys know I couldn't resist this, okay? They're doing wild, unpredictable backflips near a bottomless pit and rivers that'll sweep you off the edge of the world. So clearly, we need to see a, a full-blown circus performance. <laughs> As they all 
kind of turkey gobble at one another. Wow, that was just a slaughter. There wasn't a whole lot of flipping to do there, just a bunch of stabbing <laughs> and some falling. So the Taekwondo unit looks like we would expect it to, and it'll probably act the way that we would expect it to, you know, kicking people in the nuts like the last guy, but they cost 400, which is a lot. Like in old tabs, they were like 90 to 100. They were a spammable unit, but now it's the same price as a chieftain. And you would think that the giant bearded armor clad dual wielding warrior would be a lot stronger than the buddy in a kimono, but. Who knows? I guess we're gonna find out how to- Jesus Christ! What the hell was that? This is why I love special units and tabs. This is why I love making these episodes, because I'm surprised and left borderline speechless needing to see that again in slow motion. Like, you kicked that guy so hard his ancestors felt it. I don't understand. You jump, you punch, you spin, you miss. Interesting. So it's like a 50-50 chance if you miss your one shot, then he's gonna get you? I just assumed that the Taekwondo unit would be like the last one where it would only kick, but it looks like it punches and kicks. And if it punches, it loses. <laughs> so you really need to be going for that loincloth, okay? I know it's not honorable to go for below the belt. Or you could just kick him in the back of the head, that works too. I have to see how these guys handle crowds. So we're gonna try multiple heavily armored blade wielding samurais versus the one robe wearing kicky punchy taekwondo unit. <laughs> Who's gonna win? I have no idea. Honestly, this could go either way, but I'm gonna watch it in slow motion because I get the feeling you're gonna dismantle them very quickly. Oh God, that was two people with one kick. Just a, a collateral murder with that foot. Oh, I think he just broke that guy's neck by stepping on it. Are you serious? This is brutal. You guys need to be using your swords now. Not like that. Okay, maybe there isn't strength in numbers. Maybe you should just take a seat. This is like watching some kind of insane movie. Like, oh, oh God. Just, it wasn't even close. Now we get to move on to the big boys with Vlad. Not Vlad the Impaler, just Vlad. Okay, I was mistaken earlier. Probably because he carries around a giant sharpened tree. And he's gonna face off against a knight, since they're about the same price, and I would imagine multiple layers of metal should do something to stop a huge stick, right? I don't even know how he's gonna attack with this thing. I would imagine that he's just going to impale, right? No? What the hell was that? Why have a giant sharpened stick if you're just gonna hit him with it like a baseball bat? Technically, the knight only cost 900 and he cost 1,000, so we did have a bit of an advantage, but what if we get rid of that? We'll have him face off against two harvesters. That way he doesn't have a quantity advantage, he doesn't have a monetary advantage, he just follows the tried and true rule of carrying the bigger stick. Now can you please impale somebody? Oh. That was at least a stab, but you didn't really do any impaling. We've already met your victims, okay? When we found that dude, we had the high hopes of you were impaling. <laughs> By the way, if you know where that guy lives or is buried, we found his belt, if you want to help return that kind of thing. I envision this being like the Bone Mage or the Dark Peasant, right? Like you would have spikes just coming up out of the ground and impaling people. But instead, he just kind of trades blows, swinging his stick around. I think he's in trouble. He's got that stuck underneath the arm of one harvester, and like, it's a stick. It, it doesn't really hurt by being stuck there. It's not like a blade. <laughs> yep, that's underwhelming. I just tried him out with the cheerleader and with the priest to see if he has some kind of innate special impaling ability, but that was also a disappointment. He doesn't really do anything, so instead, we are gonna have a pole party. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of guys showing up and whacking each other with their poles. Nothing weird about that. That's perfectly fine. Whatever floats your boat, whatever strokes your ghost. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much more of a mess. We've seen this with spears before. They always get tangled up. It always just ends badly for everybody, but this is a whole new level of screwed up. What a weird special unit. You would expect him to impale, right? I'm not losing my mind. He just, <laughs> he just doesn't do it. 
and last, but certainly not least, we have the biggest, the baddest, the most difficult to pronounce special unit of the day, Uller, who I checked is the stepson of Thor. Hopefully that's a good thing. You know, maybe he's got a little bit of magic in those axes. These two definitely don't have magic in their axes. Okay, we already know that. They were praying to the wrong god, so they gotta go. And you know what? I got high hopes for Uller. Prove me right, because you are kind of a god who's throwing two-headed axes that explode into ice? What? They're frozen solid! The Ice Archers were already kind of a crazy unit, right? Being a ranged unit that can keep melee units at range is a super powerful ability, but instead of hitting one unit, he flash freezes an entire army. Are you kidding me? I knew it hit an area, but I, I didn't think it would insta-kill people. These guys never stood a chance. This wasn't even close. This was like 15v1. And I'm just now realizing that he's a bit of a big boy, aren't you? Throwing your icy cloud axe. Holy crap. I need to ramp this up. I need to see what would happen if we had like two of these versus a hundred units. How about a hundred versus four? Right, that seems fair enough. I don't even know if the Jester can dodge like ranged attacks or area of effect attacks or magical godly freezing attacks, but I guess there's really only one way to find out. I'm sure this won't be a complete and total slaughter for one side. Um, may have spoken a little too soon. They're definitely not dodging. Oh, ooh, we're kind of freezing each other though. <laughs> Watch out for the friendly fire guys, okay? We're all one Uller. That wasn't even close. Did a single jester land a blow? I don't think they did. I, th I think it was just friendly fire because they were trying to figure out who's who. What if we tried 200? No, for scientific purposes. I don't think this is a fair fight. I know this isn't a fair fight. Actually, four jesters is the same value as one Uller. So a fair fight would be like 16 versus four, not 200 versus four. <laughs> this is $60,000 worth of jesters versus $5,000 worth of angry, freezy deities. Which reminds me, I don't think Zeus could do this. I want to say that this is a stronger unit than Zeus. This may be one of the strongest units in the game. I can't think of many things that can take out a crowd quite like they can. Okay, they're getting a little closer, guys. Some mild concerns. Oh, yeah, that's the big worry. Right, the Freezy explosion can hit themselves, so if the Jesters get close enough, then the Ullers may freeze themselves to death. I don't know how I feel about that, right? Oh, no, they're swarming us. Oh, God. Ullers, get up. No. Oh, they're just gonna get stabbed a million times. Yeah. I wanna say that the Ullers did more damage to themselves than the Jesters did. It's a very interesting strategy of just rush them. I got so wrapped up in testing out all these new special units that I completely forgot about the fact that I can become them. Right, I'm the Uller now. I get to throw all the freezy axes at the big angry mammoths. Uh, the area of effect isn't really working, guys. <laughs> Is there some kind of special thing I'm supposed to be doing here? Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have used the woolly mammoth. Right, woolly makes me think that they do not give a tusk about the fact that they're cold. <laughs> Yeah, pretty sure I froze myself to death there. Can we check somehow? Oh boy, that's a whole lot of cold. Where did I go? Buried underneath all this fuzzy meat somewhere. Yeah, I'm probably lost. Having just gotten stomped by the biggest fuzzy unit in the game, of course I had to then stomp the smallest fuzzy unit in the game. <laughs> Bring it on, you little pipsqueaks. <laughs> this is my bread and butter. Okay, there's, there's a lot of you. There's a whole bunch of them. Uller! Uller! Ooh! There we go! That's the good stuff, right? Yeah, if, if they get nice and close to one another, then my cloud should be able to take them all out. I did win. I was concerned there for a second. It is really easy to kill yourself as this god. In all reality, if I wanted to see whether or not Vlad has a special ability, I should have just become Vlad. And it's not looking promising. I can I can press left mouse button to swing around my stick. <laughs> you guys like that? Holy crap. Okay. Um that was 
way easier than I expected. We can bump up the difficulty just a little bit to see if I missed something there, because that was surprising. Like, he has a very uh, quick cooldown on his attack, so he's constantly swinging this thing around. Oh, I, I may have impaled somebody there! <laughs> Accidentally. Oh, 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 gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I don't have a whole lot of health, and aiming this thing is a disaster. <laughs> okay, that was close. I, I think we might have a cutoff at around 20 farmers. I think out of all the units that I didn't get the chance to try out last episode, the Monkey King is the one that I understand the least. I have no idea how this guy works. <laughs> he just kind of leaps into battle. Okay, I didn't have any control over that. <laughs> and then every time I hit a unit, I create an illusion? Is that what's happening right now? What is space? Oh, space is the leap. Okay, so I can jump out of trouble after I make a bunch of illusions and they're all preoccupied hitting them. I don't know if my illusions do damage, but it looks like they do. I really don't think I'm the one to be killing all of these people, but maybe I am? I, considering my arms are broke and my stick is stuck behind my back, I wanna say no, but that's a win regardless. What an absolute mess of a unit. These poor old squires just can't catch a break today. Like first they have to face off against some duplicating monkey god, and now they got giant tree-bearing Jesus ready to smash the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah, those little metal helmets aren't gonna do you too good once they're pounded into your chest. Can I step on you guys? You're, you're kind of annoying down by my feet. I'm having a real hard time aiming a tree. It's not the most accurate weapon of all. Come on. Come on, will you, will you give it up? Get out from underneath my feet. Oh, 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 there we go. Wow, you guys are annoying. Please, please stop it. Every now and then I get one really good strike in, but the rest of them, not so much. Who's alive? Anybody still standing? I think I hit them so hard they're underneath the map. What am I hearing right now? Uh, Are they stuck in my tree? They gotta be here somewhere. Are they out around the edge of the map? There's somebody alive. I found him. I'm just having a really, really hard time hitting him. I, I, I could do crowds easily enough, but oh, I fell and I can't get up. Somebody call life alert. Come on, will you stop running from me? You cowards. He keeps sprinting off into the distance and I can't chase him because I'm wearing sandals on ice. Well, the good news is I finally caught up to him. The bad news is, there's only a leg left. So we've taken control of Zeus and had him put entire armies into cardiac arrest. We've controlled Uller and had him flash freeze entire armies. Now we're gonna control Artemis and see if she could just rapid fire down an entire army, just puncture them all. This isn't really what I expected. Is this what it's like to be a super easy mode tabs unit? Hey, 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 no, no, you do not. You don't just get one arrow, okay? It's at least five. I wonder what would happen if I took control of a unit and then didn't do anything. Like, what if I just become one of these crewmates and I could just hang out here behind my friends and get tossed in the air? <laughs> Land on the enemy and then scatter, scatter. Everybody gets hit with a paddle. You get a paddle. You get a paddle. That's a paddling. It's just pure madness. You can't even tell what's going on. There's so many people and so many things. And I think we got them, guys. There's a whole lot of red on the ice, which is just the way we like it. Ah, there we go. It's a cute little phalanx you got there, Mr. Hoplites. It'd be a real shame if a big beefy boy decided to charge on through. I can see my own snoot charge. Oh my god! And then can I can I pick them up? I, I need to pick them up, right? I want to be able to just toss them around using their own bodies. Do I have them? I do have them. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Okay, there might have been one too many of them. I think my charge just kind of bowled them over, but didn't kill anybody. Guys, uh, I know we agreed to have a bit of a god squad meetup, but who invited the scarecrow? <laughs> He's literally just a, a hunted bag of hay. It, it's fine, okay? You know what? He will help us out versus the ice giants. I have no idea how this could go because the ice giants are real powerful, but at the same time, we got everything going for us. We got ice, we got lightning, we got... Zeus is dead. D Zeus is just straight up dead. He's unconscious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Artemis is doing her best, but oh, Uller's ice is really not doing anything. Artemis, this is gonna come down to you, girl. Uh, you're gonna have to do all the work here. Uller's taking the punches like a champ. Oh, one of them's down. It's better than nothing, but the last two seem very buddy-buddy. <laughs> Sue, Sue's got knocked out instantly. Oh! Oh my God, Artemis, you might actually be able to pull this off if you shoot the one that's alive. Here we go. He's, he's stuck. This is kind of working. Yeah! Go God Squad! You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And again, there's just so much to do in this game. We still have so much campaign, so many units that I haven't used in first or third person, and so many different possibilities that I would love to play more. So as always, if you guys have any more ideas, stuff that you wanna see, be sure to leave them in the comments, leave a like on the video, and I'll return to continue the series soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.